Hey, Shalom, Shalom, everybody. Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh. Bajim Yahushai. Bajim Makakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for pushing 100% truth to rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Hey, this is Baka Yarmana. I'm trying to do the best I can. I, I went and bought me another camera stand. Uh, over there at Walmart, like I said on my last video for last week, my last week's camp video, I had to go buy me another camera stand because I was out here being attacked spiritually by demons causing the wind to blow my signs down, explode them, uh, pushing my signs down and shit. People walking by, pointing at me, making shit happen. You know, I'm surrounded by witches out here, clearly. But the most high, Yahweh by Jimmy, I was shy saying in the, uh, Exodus 28 and 15, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So, I, I'm, shit, here, here I am preaching in Wichita, Kansas. Explain that shit, okay? <laughs> so, but ain't nobody here down here that preaches the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Don't nobody preach the 100% truth to the best of their ability. Everybody is either on GOC, GOCC, uh, uh, them Yah Israelites, uh, uh, or uh, IUIC with that purple shit. So, you know, other than that, ain't nobody down here. So, yeah, I, call me what you want to. I don't care. I don't know. I, I was persuaded in the spirit by listening to the, the word, the true biblical scriptures and how they were originally supposed to be broken down. So, since I heard it, and I understand it. I'm gonna teach what I understand to others in the hopes that they would come the fuck out of the world too. I'm doing the best I can, man. Okay, like I said before, ain't nothing else we can do. Let's see, what was today? Today's lesson. Yeah, a warning. Okay, today's lesson is a warning. Okay. It is a warning because these goddamn Edomites are about to lose their fucking mind. They just got to go ahead and go to war and shoot each other. Okay? That's the beginning of Jacob's trouble. You hear me? Jacob's trouble is coming for the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 sons of Jacob and their children. We're their children. We're the hidden ones here in the last days that consider the words of the Most High perfectly. The Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in His abundant and, and gracious mercy, decided to persuade some of us to go out and preach the 100% gospel. And out of that truth came hundreds of thousands of other individuals, man, in different camps all over the fucking world. Yahweh Shah, the person you ignorantly called Jeebus Cross, he said, that the gospel will be preached until the ends of the earth and then shall the end come. We're about at the end. You motherfuckers right there, y'all better to uh, uh, repent and do what the Most High told you to do, man. Y'all best to die off. Cause these crackers finna lose their mind. They finna start shooting each other. After they get through shooting each other, just like Civil War, they gonna turn on you. What's changed? Like it says in Psalm 55 and 19, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai shall afflict them. He that abideth of old, say la. And here's my point. Because they have no changes, therefore they fear not Yahweh. They don't fear the Most High God in heaven. They think they are the Most High God in heaven. They think that they're related to the Most High God in heaven. Okay, by blood. Because of a, this goddamn, uh, this picture behind me. See what I'm saying? Blonde hair, blue eyed, long hair, the homosexual punk bitch, Jesus Christ, punk bitch. See? Right? Because of that shit, the, all these Edomites think that they related to him by blood. That's the reason why they think that they, they can't be stopped. America's the greatest country on the earth. Do this, do that. Well, shit. The other countries would be just about as good, but America wants to go around and blow shit up, kill every goddamn body, and steal their natural resources. So, I mean, the only people that advocate for that bullshit clearly love these Edomite devils okay
Okay. Speaking of that, devil, because I, I took some notes. You know, I take my notes like uh, uh, Elder Menachezak, Amawan Abad, and uh, Elder Yasawama uh, suggested I do, uh, and, uh, and Elder Kazak down in Mississippi. They said I should take notes. So I've been writing down notes ever since. I've got like about eight, maybe 10 uh, notebooks from uh, covered from front to back, just filled with lessons from the different brothers' channels, you know? breaking down everything because when you go back and you study for yourself to see if, if you know to see if they lying like the Brians you go back and see if they telling the truth or not you find out they telling the truth wow you keep on listening and then the Holy Spirit will work with you boom you feel obligated to come out here and teach somebody else what you found out because our people got to know man before the income our people got to know what's going on for real okay Okay, the, the devil, adjective, applied to a man who by opposing the cause of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. You see that bullshit on news every day. People that siding with, uh, with Esau, Edom, the goddamn devil the Bible speaks of. Edomite punk snatch. Okay, I'm gonna hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh I'm gonna add homonym attack his punk ass to the doom. Oh well, boo hoo, see why she had a fucking tear. These bastards is finna uh is finna fall out of power. And they're and their children, they're spoiled children. Right? They're spoiled. The way uh, an Edomite white man sees it, a so-called white man, the way he see it is that. If I can't have it, you can't either. They gonna kick, scratch, crawl, grab, bite. Okay. By any means necessary to keep hold of power over your life. That's what these goddamn devils is trying to do. By any means necessary. Now they done pushed a, uh, an unrighteous law and a decree at the World Economic Forum, uh, the World Health Organization, talking shit about uh, the uh, so-called the X factor, you know what do they call it? The uh, 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 what do they call it? The the, uh, the X sickness, the next one that they got planned. I I, uh, I recorded a video with uh, uh, Gilly Bates and his woman Monona or whatever the fuck her name is, weird ass chick. If you want to call it a chick, I don't know. It might be a dude. You know, with these Edomites, you know, they go both ways. So it don't matter what they finna do. But you know what I'm saying? But he said, uh, the next plan on the uh on the act on the demic side, the next plan on the demic side, get it? Plan demic, okay, get it? Okay, on that side, they said that the people are gonna get it next time. They're going to see how serious this is or how badly they want to take over the world man they don't care about you all they want to do is kill you get your ass out of the way they only need 500 million people about the georgia godstones you don't hear much about the georgia godstones much anymore because they blew them up in the middle of the street in the middle of the night and called it a, 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 a mix between an earthquake and a lightning strike telling a goddamn lie you see what i'm saying Esau Edom is a liar and the father of it, like it tells you in John chapter 8, 44. Okay? Real talk. And two-thirds of my people follow in behind this homosexual. Uh, you know, they, they, they want to do whatever by any means necessary to you to keep you away from the truth. They want to come against us to destroy us so this way we can't tell you the truth no more. By any means necessary. These people don't care. They don't give a damn about you. And by any means necessary, they're gonna to try to destroy you to uh, where you gotta take the uh, the radio frequency identification micro processor, digital processor, the size of a grain of rice, right? That they wanna put underneath your skin, in your hand. Left hand, right hand, it don't matter, okay? That's the only means to buy and sell. The United States petrol dollar is dead as of January the 24th on a global scale. Ain't nobody dealing with U.S. petrol dollars no more. The other countries that still do, 
they're trying to come away from the U.S. petrol dollar. That's going to leave America and Americans, the only ones in the world, spending U.S. petrol dollars. It's monopoly money. It's toilet paper now because it holds no value in another country. It doesn't have any value at all. Okay, so the only thing that they can do, these Edomite devils, is to crash the system. Once they crash the system, they're going to make you eat each other, shoot each other, kick each other's door in in the middle of the night looking for a can of, uh, a can of, uh, of beans, green beans, a bag of rice, any goddamn thing in order to feed your family. This is what these devils planning on doing, man. They really do not care about you, okay? And the Most High in His abundant mercy sent His prophets one last time to get your attention. That's all He's doing, okay? That's the reason why He sent us out here on these street corners and fully persuaded us in the spirit to teach your ass what you need to do to get out of here, okay? It's going to be so few people in the kingdom of heaven when it first start off. It's going to be like a person standing over here 30 miles over that way. It's another person standing over there. Real talk, man. That's how few people at the beginning of the kingdom of heaven is going to be. Now, we're going to uh, become hunters and dig out these elites and their deep underground bunker and their underground cities and shit. We're going to dig them out of there. They put their ass directly in the chains. They think that they're going to destroy the entire world, right? And they're going to set it on fire, right? Just like Nero did Rome. Blame us, the Israelites of the Holy Bible, so this way you'll have a chance to kill us too. Okay? That's what their plan is, man. These Edomites have no changes. They don't fear God because they have a God complex. They're at the top. You know, they go to the World Economic Forum. Hey, the other week they had a, a, a goddamn witch doctor, a female Amazonian shaman. Probably, don't know for sure, speak as a man, uh, the, uh, 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 the witch of Endor in the reincarnation came back to bless their enterprise with success. Spitting on them, oh, wow, wow, wow. Ain't that a bitch? Really? Okay, these devils, by any means, any means necessary, will worship any other god but the Most High God in heaven. And his name is Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Real talk. They, by any means necessary, man, they call a goddamn witch doctor? Really? Man, come on, man. He finna kill these bastards, because they put that shit on the internet, and the internet goes through wireless fidelity, Wi-Fi, and goes off into outer space through an antenna they call Voyager 1. One of them uh, them satellites that they sent out into space, right? If the skies above can be measured, uh, like it tells you Jeremiah, and Jeremiah chapter 31, let's get it. That's crazy. Let's get it. Jeremiah 31, check this out. Listen to this. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 35. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night. Now remember, in 1954, these goddamn Edomites tried to blow up the moon. They tried to blow it up. Boom! This is how desperate these devils are to keep their power and their struggle to hold on to ultimate power in the world. These devils, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, these Caucasians will be exterminated. There's no way around it. They're trying to find different ways around it. They're going to call a goddamn witch doctor to spit in their face, calling on a Molech or a, a one of them other false gods. Really? I mean, come on, man. These Edomites hate the Most High Yahweh. Like it says in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. Those that hate me love death. Right? 
Jeremiah chapter uh, 31, verse 35. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divided the, the sea when the waves thereof roar. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Adawan Ratazah. The Lord of hosts is his name. Shartazah by what? The Lord of hosts. Verse 36. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel shall cease from being a nation before me forever. So these Edomites, you know, which is part of their enterprise, is to have Israel, Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans forever forget the fact that they are from the 12 tribes of Israel. And they pretty much succeeded for about, what, three or 400 years. Okay, but the grace and mercy that's been given to the Israelites here in these last days before the end of time of Esau's rulership, the Most High sent out prophets one good last time in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Rechachwadash, to preach the gospel to his people, to give them one last out. Esau can't stop it. Okay? Verse 37, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 37. This is my point about that Voyager satellite they sent out in space back in the 50s and 60s that's been trying to measure the distance of space from Earth going north, okay? From uh, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, the axis and uh, 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 the elliptical orbit around the sun, all of those shit, okay, because they got the wisdom of Daniel, right? So they use their mathematical prowess, okay, by any means necessary to try to find a way out of the biblical prophecies that are st they stand against them as a testimony to their wickedness and a testimony to the righteousness of the Israelites. Because the Most High, at the end of the day, like it tells you in Isaiah 14 and 1, I will have mercy upon Jacob and will yet choose Israel. This is what Esau, Edom, and the nations don't want you to know. Okay? So the most I sent prophets out here. But listen to this. Thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith the Lord. Okay? So, this is what these devils are trying to do, man. They're trying to bring all of the negative biblical prophecies, okay, to pass. Wickedness, evil, like it tells you in Job chapter 9, verse 24, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. The only wicked people on the face of the earth in the eyes of the Lord are Edomites. You got the nations that have, you know, what is it? Uh, in Obadiah chapter, Obadiah chapter, chapter one, verse seven, I think it is. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Okay, let me see if I can find, I think it's, uh, I keep uh, uh, saying that I'm gonna buy me another Bible and put some more of them deals. I'm gonna, I should just, just go buy one and just redo it all over again. Okay, let's go to Obadiah. That's only one book, one chapter, right? Okay, Obadiah chapter, uh, chapter one, verse seven. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. Right? All the men of thy confederacy. Esau, Edom's confederacy is in the form of the United Nations, the North Atlantic Trade Organization, NATO. Right? Because as is biblically prophesied in, in Revelation chapter 17, NATO and the United Nations, okay, will hate America, the whore, the, uh, the whore of Babylon, right? America, 
they're going to hate and turn their back on America. Right now, as it stands right now, these Edomite devils are about to go into another civil war. Like the Lord says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there's nothing new under heaven. What has been done, that shall be done. There's no new thing under the sun. Roughly paraphrased. So they had a civil war back in the 1800s. Here it is 225, 250 years later, they have another goddamn civil war for the same reason. Immigrants coming over in the border, right? Esau, Edom, these devils are done, man. Once they start shooting up the people, like for example, these guys right here, for example, you know, they're gonna do everything they can by any means necessary, you know, I, because look, you know, you got all these devils, all these, all these pictures out here, do you just seen the police behind me gonna wave at me, okay? Like it says uh, uh, in the book of John, I think it is, I forget which chapter, okay, uh, 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 you know, Damn, I forget, I forget what it is. Uh, damn. <laughs> wow, man, it's crazy, huh? But anyway, like I said before, all the men of thy confederacy, Obadiah 1 and 7, have brought thee even to the border. What border? The border of wickedness. Right? Because democracy has been spread throughout the entire world. This is what they're not teaching you at church. All these cars behind me, they're just not coming in and out of church, man. Going to go worship Sister Ray Boys and Punk Big Superstar over here with the long hair. Look like one of the goddamn Three Musketeers. Okay, they just got out of, uh, from bowing down on their knees and, and uh, worshiping, kissing his ass. You know, like it says in uh, Psalms chapter 2, kiss the son, lest he be angry, and thou be destroyed. Okay, out of the way when his anger is killing but a little. But these goddamn devils got our people going to go worship one of the three musketeers. John Wayne, Kirk Douglas. Okay. Glenn Ford. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, all these men at the Confederacy have brought thee ever, even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. How they did it? Saying that it's okay for democracy to rule in their countries. With this United Nations type thing. Everybody's sick to death of democracy. Freedom to do as thou wilt. You know, a person can't survive without some sort of discipline. If you are undisciplined, Spiritually, physically, everything's gonna come out of whack. You have some of the guys that have been lifting weights and buff. It takes discipline of the mind and of the heart to work out, okay? But if that discipline is gone, you become some fat, uh, uh, busted individual that eat anything in front of them on a seafood diet. You see what I'm saying? So you got to have some sort of discipline, some sort of spirituality. You know, so you can feel more in tune with your spiritual self on the inside where the kingdom of heaven is. Like Yahweh HaMashiach said, he said the kingdom of heaven is within you. Right? Right, so like you. Right, I, I'm, I'm trying to find it, man.
right? Okay, let's read that about the 10 virgins. <laughs> Why not? Let's break it down, right? Matthew, what is it? Uh, chapter 25, I think it is. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Now we all know that the bridegroom, because they teach this at, uh, at church with Sister Ray Ford, your punk bitch superstar. Right? Okay. The kingdom of heaven on earth, like it says in the Lord's Prayer that he gave to us in the book of Luke. Right? Be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps, right? Which took their bodies, their tabernacle, and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and, and took no oil with them. These are like camps like IUIC, GOCC, ISUPK. They don't have the oil. They don't have the will and wisdom and the knowledge of the Most High God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in order to preach it at 100% truth. They're all out for the bag, trying to make some money, okay? By any means necessary, they'll destroy your soul in order to get a paycheck. And that's a goddamn shame that they would throw their own people whom they were entrusted to save and to watch over the flock as shepherds Throw them under the bus. Throw them out for the wolves. Right? And this is what they do, man. And then Great Millstone comes along and they see these videos teaching a lot, right? And mistruths and taking the words of the Most High God for, uh, for advantage and twisting it upside down, trying to say something that it don't mean instead of breaking it down word for word in context like as they're supposed to do, getting a, 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 a Bible dictionary and breaking everything down. Instead of that, they go and preach off emotion. They, they ain't no better uh, than uh, the Baptist church, the evangelical church, the Catholic church. They ain't no better. You know what I mean? So these, these five that were foolish, these five virgins, are likened to the individuals that follow in behind them. These false teachers, false prophets, false apostles that tell lies, okay? Mistruths deliberately in order to hide the truth from you because they don't want you to get into the kingdom of heaven. That's a goddamn shame, man. You need to go and find out for yourself. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high God in heaven. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? Like it tells you when, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15? You know what I'm seeing? So, I'm, I'm just telling you, man, okay, because a lot of our people, they ain't got a clue what's going on. And me, I, I'm going to do whatever I can to get your ass out of the way. Because these devils don't care about you, man. These individuals are paid off. You got Rick Ross, punk ass, a rapper. Right? Talking about he gonna build him an underground bunker. Right? I mean, come on, man. Really? You know, he sold that long time ago. Sold his soul to Esau Edom. Every time they say bend over and spread your cheeks, he'll bend over and spread his cheeks and cough. They shove a broomstick up his ass, no problem. As long as you make him a check for like three or four hundred thousand dollars, he don't give a fuck. And he's trying to convince you to go make an underground bunker. It's individuals like that that are foolish virgins. They are not going to get into the kingdom of heaven. Okay. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. So they don't have any wisdom or knowledge or understanding of the biblical scriptures. It's all about what they can get, the bag, being carnally minded, 
verse 4, but the wives took oil in their vessels with their lamps, right? So the oil and our vessels, our vessels are our mind and our heart, okay? The oil is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the biblical scriptures and how it pertains to salvation, okay? While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept, right? Now here in these last days, the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has awakened with the walk theology two-thirds of our people. They realize now that they're Israelites, but they don't have any wisdom and knowledge in how to be saved and how to uh, and salvation of what they should do, practicing the righteous acts, right? Which is fasting, doing the best you can to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, Yahweh, right? Believing that the Most High God is, He exists. That's what Yahweh means. Yahweh. He exists, right? Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, right? Means He is deliverer. He is salvation. That's what it means. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is not going to teach you these things. He wants you to be exterminated. If he can't have it, you can't either. That means the kingdom of heaven. If he can't get the kingdom of heaven on earth, you can't either. And he'll do by any means necessary to get your ass to die with him. They're spoiled children. Right? Matthew uh, chapter 25, verse 6. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Right? Now, this cry is being made by righteous men and other righteous individuals with the correct mind frame, with the law, statutes, and commandments that they practice in their heart, standing on street corners, preaching the 100% truth of the Holy Scriptures in order to get your ass out of the way. So this way the Most High Yahweh can come that you call the rapture, right? It's not a rapture. I, I looked in the Bible to see if I could find that word. It doesn't exist. It does. It's not in the King James Version of the Bible. Okay? It is a... Uh, that is a precept that is made up of men. And a lot of our people fear the Most High God based on the precept of men. Okay? When Yahweh Shai come, okay, he's coming to save those that he had chosen from the foundations of the earth. Those are the only people that are going to get out of here. Everybody else is going to be exterminated, destroyed. Okay? They're going to be left here and melted. Remember, the human body is made up of elements of the periodic table. You have molybdenum, you have iron, you have copper, right? You have magnesium, you have selenium, okay? You have all, all of these are elements, and they are in your body, okay? Real shit. You're going to be left here and melted if you do not do your best to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God here in these last days. You're about out of time because these devils are about to go to a uh, civil war. They're going to start shooting each other in the middle of the street. Right? It's going to be the police are going to be offline. You ain't going to be able to call the police. 911 is going to be offline. You get on there, call the police. Call the police, call the police. Ain't nobody gonna answer the phone. You're going straight to voicemail. Because the police, they're gonna be at home trying to protect their family. Remember, you got all these goddamn migrants that are the United Nations Gurga troops intermixed in with other people trying to flee their countries. Now remember, you have these so-called migrants or illegal immigration, okay? These people are either coming back to Babylon the Great to be judged for the wickedness that they have not repented of, or to be saved because they had been selected and chosen by the Most High God at the beginning before he, the foundations of the world in order to be saved here in these last days. Okay? These are the hidden ones that are not aware that they are Israelites. Okay? That's the only reason they're coming here. They're either coming to be saved or they're coming here to be destroyed. It's that simple. Once the, the green light is given, 
all these illegal immigrations, uh, immigrants, okay, they are going to start killing people, kicking your goddamn door in at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. All they're waiting on is to, for the power grid to go out. When the lights go out, it's going to be straight up pandemonium out here in the street. Okay? The most high, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wants you to get your ass out of the way. That's all he sent us out here to do, was to wake you up, give you enough knowledge and understanding and wisdom of the holy biblical scriptures, so this way you can be saved. To convince you, and because we know the terror of the Most High. The Most High God in heaven is a terrible power, man. You do not want to get on his bad side, okay? It's just something you don't want to do. But then, look at what happened to our people for over 500 years, for example. We've been discontinued from our heritage, who we are was beaten out of us, raped out of us, burned out of us, and hung from a tree out of us. All we believe we are now is niggas, thugs, gang bangers, right? That's just the tribe of Judah. That's the same tribe the person you ignorantly called Jesus Christ come from, okay? And a lot of our people don't get it. They don't understand it. Our job is to try to do what we can to get your ass out of the way, man. I, that's all I'm talking about. This is a warning. That's all it is, it's about today, is to warn you that you are at the end of your rope. Right? Now, it's almost midnight. That is a spiritual thing. What that means is that Esau Edom is about to exact Jacob's trouble on you. The great tribulation is about to come down the pipe. When the power goes off, how are you gonna keep the food that you got in your deep freeze or in your refrigerator, how are you gonna keep it cold? Ain't no energy. You ain't got no generator, you ain't got nothing. What you gonna do? How will you hide your sins before the Most High God and His angels? Mercy will be taken from the earth at that point. It's almost midnight. And at midnight, Matthew 25 and 6, at midnight, there was a cry made. The cry, like it says in, uh, in Isaiah 58 and 1, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And that's what we're doing. We're out here on these street corners, lifting up our voice like a trumpet to get you out of the way, to get you to repent, to try to persuade you to go back and keep the God's uh, commandments to the best you can. Just do your best you can. The grace and mercy of the blood that was shed for you as an Israelite will cover you where you make your mistakes in keeping the commandments. That's all the grace was for. You got everybody teaching all of this shit up in, in church. It's a goddamn lie. They've been telling you a lot of your face every Sunday, ever since you could walk. As soon as you came out of the cradle, they've been lying to you. Okay? That's what we're trying to do is get you to, to, to try to persuade you to turn around, man. Consider your ways. Consider the wickedness of what you're doing. You're going to go buy cigarettes, black malls, Mac and malls, all that old bullshit. Right? For what? So you can smoke weed and detach away from society? Alcoholics do the same thing. I should know. Okay? They try to detach and separate themselves from society, from the social life, from life in general. They try to get away from it, right? The stress, the anxiety, the worry, okay? Don't get me wrong, we're all in the flesh. We're all gonna suffer these things, but it would be better if you knew the true name of the Most High and His Son to call upon them in the day of trouble. It'd be better if you did that. When you call upon the name of the Lord, the true name, He'll look at your life and see where you're at and, and make moves to improve it. Okay? To you, it would seem like it's a blessing. You see what I mean? But without knowing the true name of the Most High and His Son, how are you going to be saved? Like it tells you in Joel chapter 2, verse 36, those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. 
Them is the only people that's getting out of here, man. You have to know the true name of the Most High and His Son. Remember, they are the Most High is the God of the Hebrews of, a, of people that speak a different language. That shit that they push on uh, on the internet, those uh, so-called Jews, right? That's Yiddish. They're from Asiatic, Turkish, German descent from the Caucasus Mountains in Ukraine. That's where these people come from, man. They took over our land and took on our heritage. They were caught in Khazaria between the Muslim world, Arabic world, and evangelical Christian world. These goddamn Edomites were stuck in the middle. These Khazars, Ashkenazi, Khazars. Khazarian, Caucasians. So, they decided to take a piece of this religion down here with the Muslim world and a piece of the religion up here in the, uh, in the Christian world and mix it together and put in Babylonian precepts of the Egyptians of Babylon of the ancient of, of ancient of days, back in the day of the Babylonians, right? Mix it all together, call it Judaism. That way it satisfies the Arabic Muslims and the Christians, and they can do whatever the fuck they wanted to do. They got the Babylonian Talmud, the Babylonian Talmud, that's the Bible of these Ashkenazi uh Khazars. They call themselves Jews and are not. They're frauds. It tells you in the book of uh, Revelation, chapter 3, verse 9, and chapter 2, verse 9. They're frauds, man. They're not the true people of the Holy Bible Scriptures. Okay? They never have been. All we're trying to do is get two-thirds of our people to go back and repent and keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. The grace and mercy that has been afforded you, like I said before, of the blood that has been shed by Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, will cover you where you make your mistakes. That's all the grace was for. It was never meant for you to just continue to do wickedness. That's what Paul the Apostle was talking about. Okay? Shall we sin that grace may abound? God forbid! That's what we're trying to explain to you. So we're trying to persuade you by any means necessary to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Yahweh Shai, the person you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, he kept the commandments perfectly. Paul the Apostle, Paul the Apostle, he will tell you in the book of Romans, okay, that he is a Hebrew of the Hebrews. I think it's Philippians and Colossians, one of them two, okay, that he is a Hebrew of Hebrews from the tribe of Benjamin, a Pharisee of Pharisees, the son of a Pharisee. This is what they're not teaching you at church, okay? They just gloss over it. Like it's okay to just gloss over it without breaking it down so the people have a clear understanding what the fuck's going on. And these Edomite devils, they don't give a shit. All they want you to do is die with them. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Who is the bridegroom? Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. Right? whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That is the bridegroom. Who is his bride? The elect of the house of Israel. Those that have been predestinated to be saved by him in these last days. Like it tells, like Paul tries to explain it to you in the body. What good is a body with no ears? What good uh, is a, a set of ears with no head? What good is a head with no body, with no legs? You see what I'm saying? So every part of the body is all one thing. It's all one people that consists of Israelites. Those are the people that he, he laid his life down for. He didn't lay his life down for Tom, Dick, and Harry, Willie Lunch meeting Sam Sausage on the other side of the world, worshiping uh, uh, Shiva chakras with long braided hair, with eight arms, half man, half woman, Bathomet, Satan. All of the nations of the world, their gods are idols, okay? They cannot move, they cannot see, they cannot walk, 
They cannot talk. They cannot smell. They can't do nothing. They just sit there and look at you. See? So that is the hypocrisy of false freedom of religion. They don't tell you the truth that the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shall kill your ass for worshiping anybody but him. Because he was the one that created all things. Like it says in, uh, what is it, Psalms, uh, Psalms 94. Okay, the, all the gods of the nations are idols, but Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah made the heavens. There's only one God. Esau Enema teach you that there's many gods. God has many names. That's a lie, man. How many names you got? Huh? See what the fuck I mean? So they're teaching hypocrisy, man. These Edomite devils will tear you a lie to your face, man, and you eat it right the fuck up because he's white. He's in control. He got all the power. See? You gonna hey, you're gonna find out very soon that you're not gonna be able to find the prophets or the apostles to tell you the truth to your face or what you need to do to be saved. It's going to be too late. That's what they're trying to do now with the internet. They're trying to shut down the internet by any means necessary so this way you don't have any means to get the truth. Where are you going to get the truth from? They're going to make it illegal for us to come out here and preach. Because see, for real, I'm going to tell you the truth to your face. Whether you hear or whether you forbear, that's on you. But at least I would have done my job. Right? Now, behold, the bridegroom cometh, bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Verse 7. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Right? Here in these latter days, they go back and consider the law, statutes, and commandments, and the word of God perfectly. They try to do everything they can to try to fit themselves in to the biblical prophecies of the Israelites saying that God loves everybody. Everybody can be saved, which is a lie. Right? Verse 8, And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. Right? Those virgins that were foolish said unto the wise, The wise are those that came out of the world, out of the way of Babylon the Great, Practicing the righteous acts found in Judges chapter 5 verse 11. Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. Praying every day. Twice a day. Three times a day. Mentioning the name of Yahweh and the name of Yahweh Shai. All the time. In the hopes that they might be saved. Okay? These are the wise virgins. The foolish virgins. They call on Jesus Christ, punk bitch superstar, long-haired, blue-eyed homosexual, right? See, goddamn one of the three musketeers with his uh, with his blue eyes. Did you know blue eyes, green eyes, hazel eyes is leprosy? That shit is leprosy. All of that that white skin, that shit is leprosy, man. White people, so-called, these Caucasians, they're clean lepers. They just don't have sores busting out and boils busting out of their skin. Okay? All the time, everywhere they go, and stink. It's true. I found out myself. When white folks get wetter, they get sweaty, they smell like a wet dog. Oh, wow. They stink. It's true. Anyway, I digress. They said, give us of your oil for our lamps are gone out they don't have any faith they want to come up against the wise virgins talk shit on them talk down disrespect us take the words of the most high god the oil burn it up pour it out on the ground nobody gets the truth nobody gets any true answers right uh, Matthew 25 and 9 but the wise answered saying not so lest there be not enough for us and you but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves study to show yourself approved unto the most high God in these last days that's the reason why we're trying to out here trying to persuade you knowing the terror of the Lord 
Okay, like it tells you in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men to the best of our ability. That's why we're out here, man. Okay. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with them to the marriage, and the door was shut. Isaiah 26 and 10. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. The indignation is World War III and the destruction of America. Great fervent heat, like it says in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, where all the elements of the world shall be melted with great fervent heat. It tells you the Most High God is threatening you, okay, and who will not be beaten to powder at his presence. He's going to leave you here and melt you, right? So while the bridegroom came and, and those of the wise virgins went in with him, that's what they what these Edomite devils have uh, renamed the rapture, right? So while everybody tarried and don't give a shit doing what they want to do, doing as they will, okay, they're going to get caught here, left here, and melted, like it says in Ezekiel 22 and 18, right? And while they went to buy, to go out into the world and do what they want to do, one last time, because you got individuals that used to be with Great Millstone that went back out into the world, doing drugs, smoking weed, went back into the world, the soul they sold to get tax exempt, making videos, telling lies on the truth, right? Trying to do whatever they can to get the people to turn back away from the most, turn their back on the most high and his righteous prophets and apostles doing the best they can to persuade people to repent. You got individuals that went back in the world trying to do everything they can to get you to do the opposite of repentance, to stay in the world with them, right? And the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he, being the bridegroom, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, answered and said, Verily, I say unto you, I know you not. I don't know you. Who the fuck are you? You can't come in my house. Right? Verse 13, Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Right? So it's a lot of people that ain't got, are not aware. My job is to do everything I can to get your ass out of the way. So the Messiah, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shah won't leave you here and melt you. It's going to become very hot here. Okay, when these thermonuclear missiles get over here, they can be shot from other ends of the world and get here in America in less than 15 minutes. Okay, that means you got 15 minutes to live once they're launched, man. That's it. It's gonna melt the mantle of the planet over here on this side of the earth. All of the oceans surrounding America from sea to shining sea are gonna be boiling. The smoke of their destruction will rise up uh, forever, right? That's a long time to be on fire, man. Okay, because your body is made up of elements. Like I said earlier in the video, See? So, like I said before, let's go to, uh, let's go to, uh, Psalms. Let's go to Psalms 37. And 39. Right? But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Right? So that's the reason why we're out here trying to persuade you to turn around, to repent. Right? Like it says in 2 Ezra, let's get it. 
Second Ezra chapter 16. Verse 67. This is how you repent, in case you don't know. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 67. Behold, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sin and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. Quit smoking. Quit drinking. Quit going out to the parties, out to the club. Because you don't understand these illegal immigrated, immigrated migrants, once they get the green light, they're going to go into these clubs where you're at and shoot your ass to death and blow themselves up. Okay? These people that are coming over here, they don't give a goddamn about an American citizen. They don't give a shit about you. Our people care about Israelites only. Okay? And if you're an Israelite, a Negro, Latino, or Native American, my job is to get you out of the way and get you to repent. I don't give a damn about the rest of the people. They can die off if they want to, because that's what they're going to do anyway. Right? Behold, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Right? And that's how you repent, man. What is sin? First John chapter three, verse four, right? If the law was done away with, why is it still telling you that you're still committing the sin in the New Testament? Ain't nobody telling you the truth. They don't break it down for you so you understand it, okay? They just want your money so they can dress in a suit so they can drive a brand new Cadillac. They don't give a fuck about your salvation and how you gonna get out of here alive. They don't care, man, they don't, they never have. It's all about money with them. T.D. Jakes, Joel Osteen, right? They just found some dirt on T.D. Jakes. He been popping little boys in the booty. Come on, man. Really? First John chapter three, verse four. He that, let's get it. First John chapter three. Verse four, whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is transgression of the law. What is iniquity? Sin unrepented of. So if you continue to commit sin, you're in iniquity. You wake up and you don't pray. You don't ask the Lord for forgiveness for whatever you've done from the day previous. The day previous before that. The day previous before that. These are iniquities, sin upon sin upon sin, added up on top of one another without repentance. That is iniquity. Okay? Whoso, okay, First John chapter 3, verse 6. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither hath known him. Right? First John chapter 3, verse 8. He that committeth sin is of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, was manifested on earth in the flesh that he might destroy the works of the devil. The devil the Bible speaks of is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. These devils were created to be the wicked. They don't know what righteousness is. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and not behold the majesty of the Lord. What is the majesty of the Most High in heaven? What is the majesty? What gives the Most High God in heaven his majesty is you keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. 
white man does not keep the majesty of the Lord. Thereby, by default, he does not keep the law, statutes, and commandments. He tells you the law is done away with. You follow him behind the white man. The white man destroys your soul. So the Most High God, in his abundant mercy, sent his son, manifested in the flesh, to save you. He did not come to save everybody. All nations cannot be saved. He came to save Israelites. The person you ignorantly call Jesus Christ is not a Christian. You people do not understand. The people that are teaching you a goddamn lie in church, they're doing it on purpose. So you would lose your salvation. They're spoiled children. If they can't have it, you can't either. This is the, the mindset of the white man, the devil the Bible speaks of. First John chapter 3, verse 8. He that committeth sin is of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of the Most High, Yahweh, was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Verse 9. Whosoever is born of Yahweh doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of the Most High. And the only way that you can be reborn in the Most High here in these last days is true repentance. To turn around. To keep the commandments to the best of your ability. Let's go back to 2nd Ezra. Sixteen. Right? Verse 18. 2nd Ezra. Chapter 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. This is what's about to happen upon the face of the earth. When they shut down the power grid, how are you going to eat? You can't use the ATM machine because it runs off electricity. You can't use the water machine because it runs off electricity. You can't get your money out of the bank because it's planned by the elite bankers. They don't give a damn about you. They never have. It's all about money. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. Now, the powers are the elites at the World Economic Forum and the World Health Organization. NATO, the North Atlantic Trade Organization. The United Nations. EU. These are the powers that stand in fear. The devil's fear and tremble. They believe in Yahweh's God. They know that the Son of the Most High is here, or else they would not be making videos about what type of weapons to fight aliens from outer space. These Edomites are scared to death. The Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is coming on the father ship, 30 times the size of the planet Earth. That means that inside the inside circumference of the father ship, you can put 30 outside planets inside of it. One third of the peoples of the world shall be saved who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the services of the Most High and the promises. All these things were given to Negroes Latinos and Native Americans. It was not given to everybody. Everybody cannot be saved. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? 
What are these evil? Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that there is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The he that's going to be saved are the elect of the Most High. Those that have come out of the way of Babylon the Great and practicing the righteous acts found in Judges chapter 5, verse 11. These righteous acts are fasting, reading your Bible to get to know the Lord better, and practicing abstinence from the world, drinking, smoking, committing spiritual and physical adultery, eating food sacrificed unto idols, right? These are the righteous acts. Here in these last days, there will come far few and in between to find someone that does these things. Okay? All my job is to do is to tell you the right way you should go. The Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai knows that you cannot keep the law perfectly. He knew that when he started. That's the reason why he sent his son manifesting in the flesh. It was the only pure sacrifice. Because our people, the Israelites, were sacrificing unto idols, devils, and things wherein there is no profit. They would, instead of taking a pure lamb, an unblemished lamb, they would take a goat with a broken leg, or a turtle, or a turtle dove with a broken weed and sacrifice that on the altar to the Lord. Now I will buy shit, I will I had had enough of that shit. Right? So he decided to divorce us. When Yahweh Ba Shimmy Abishai had officially divorced the Israelites and was no longer our God, the nations came upon us to destroy us. Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 19. Behold, famine, plague, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. What are scourges? A butt whooping. Right? Spanking your butt. Scourges. Whip your back with whip. Right? Famine. Plague. You just went through the plague uh, between uh, 2018 and 2022. These Edomite devils convinced you that there was a great plague, and you idiot believed it and put poison in your body. They had sent 1.6 billion people to die. That's a lot of people. That's how many people that they have recorded that took the wicked jump shot. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 20. But for all these things, they should not turn from their wickedness nor always be mindful of the scourges, right? Our people walk on and pass on by, not caring about what's gonna happen tomorrow. It's all about the bag. Get that money, get them drugs. That's all our people care about. They don't care about their eternal salvation. Jesus Christ is not going to save you. That is not his name. Joel chapter 2 verses 36 tells you that those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. If the letter J was out 600 years ago, 
and the man that they called Jesus was crucified 2,000 years ago. What was his name for 1,400 years? It wasn't Jesus. So what is his name? What is his son's name if thou canst tell? Can you tell me the true Hebrew name of the Father? It is not Yahweh. It is not Yeshua. That is a goddamn lie set up by the uh, those Kazarian Caucasians that call themselves Jews. They've been lying to your face. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Who is the living embodiment of the sword? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. The devil the Bible speaks of. You'll hang your ass from a tree for fun. These devils don't change. Now they're about to go into civil war. 911 is offline. You can't call the police. They're not coming. What will you do? How will you hide your sin before the Most High and His angels? Every man, woman, and child on earth has an angel recording everything you do. Every night at 12 o'clock, they report to the Most High what you done. Did he repent? No. Put it in the book. You people are finished. Are you mad pissed off because you don't understand the Bible? You weren't meant to understand it, evidently. Yep. Let's go to uh, Salakia. Let's go to uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. And he, being the Edomite, the elites of the world, health organization, the World Economic Forum, NATO, the EU, the elites that have these underground bunkers you've been hearing about, and he has power to give life unto the image of the beast. Right? The image of the beast. It is their power structure. Society. Right? What is the beast? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. I got a sign over there that tells you that the beast is NATO and the EU. The image of the beast here is in America. Democracy, freedom of religion, freedom to do as thou wilt. You know, that dude that just walks across the screen right there, he almost got wiped out by a truck, man. That red truck that was coming down the street, almost wiped his ass out. Didn't have time enough to wait on the light. Decided, I gotta get away from the word of the Most High God quick. He put his life in jeopardy to run from being reproved by the Holy Spirit. That's crazy. It's real shit. Okay. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and caused that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. What does this mean? The mark of the beast is the radio frequency identification microchip. A subcutaneous microchip the size of a grain of rice that allows you to buy and sell. 
during the tribulation period, Jacob's trouble, when the lights go out, there is no running water, food sources are limited, people are getting killed every day, the news is not recording anything, you can't see what's going on. Police are 911 is offline. The hospitals are overrun. Okay. When all this happens, the beast, NATO, EU, World Economic Forum, are going to cause you to be killed if you do not want to be a part of their wicked society. In order to participate in a cashless society, you have to participate and partake in taking the radio frequency identification microchip. That's the only means to buy and sell in a cashless society. To buy water, to buy food. They give you a certain amount of time to spend the universal basic income that they put on the chip every month. Jobs will be scarce. If the United States government is giving away free money, two-thirds of our people are going to take that money. Everything else will be cut off. Okay? Now you see that sign over there with Mark and Lee, right? Okay, that's what's going on. That's what these devils want to do. When they shut off all the power, street lights every day, they're going to enact martial law. The first people they're coming to is in your neighborhood. They want to put you in a FEMA camp. Federal Emergency Management Agency camp. In order for you to be exterminated. Shot to death. Tortured. Raped. Mutilated. They have FEMA camps, 800 of them within the United States. They're all men, but there's nobody in them. See? Let's get this. Ezekiel, see that? Just wave me off, right? Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 31. So I get it. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people. And they hear thy words, but they will not do them. So repentance is a foreign language to my people. Now you just see them come over here with tattoos on their face and all kind of other stupid shit, right? I told them, I did my job, Lord. I did my job. I told them. What's going to happen? How it's going to happen? Who's going to implement it? What's going to happen to them? They don't care. They wave me off like that. See, look. That it go down the street. Just stupid. Sold they sold to Satan's punk ass. It's all good. Nothing I could do. See? See him over there? Didn't give a damn. And they little dog. They didn't care, man. They does not care. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 31. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. What is covetousness? Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh and the pride of life the bag drugs get money right verse 32 and lo thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument for they hear thy words but they do them not See? 
So two thirds of our people are already slated for destruction. They came over here to look at all of these pictures and waved it off in disbelief. Y'all to get it. Right? Second Ezra. Chapter 15, verse 1. 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. I already put it in our mouth. He gave us the word, the statutes, the commandments of the Most High, and the Holy Scriptures. The 1611 King James Version of the Bible with the Apocrypha, right? He fully persuaded us in the spirit to come out and preach the words of truth to our people. But they will not do them. They ain't gonna do it. Wade me off like I wasn't like, shit, I don't know what you're talking about. Crazy, right? Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse two and cause them to be written in paper but they are faithful and true fear not the imagined imaginations against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee what is incredulity unbelief for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. If the whole world just got over a plague that shut down the entire planet. Right? The sword. Right? It's war. Civil war is on the, is on the brink of destruction right there at the Texas border. Esau Edom is divided. He's completely divided straight down the middle. 25 of the governors and senators of the United States are against the Biden administration. The Biden administration allows these illegal immigrants to come into the country and Texas border says no. 25 of the United States, of the 50 states of the Union, are going to help Texas. Is this not civil war? Let's get it. Oh, I was there already. Second Ezra 15. It's a lot here. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh. What does nigh mean? The sword and the destruction of Babylon the Great is near, even at the doors. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 15. This is happening in your lifetime. Okay? 25 of the 50 states are against the Biden administration. One people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. What's the modern day sword? The gun. Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Sedition, right? Sedition against the government. That's what they're trying to sue Donald Trump about. January 6th, sedition amongst the government. Right? So 
know it's happening again. There is no new thing under the sun. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right? Like I said before, 911 will be offline. There will be no way for you to call the police to help you. They're not coming. So whatever these devils decide to do, as they get your house in, kill you and your smith of the floor, in front of your wife and kids, rape your woman and kill your kids, sell them in slavery, there's nobody to call the cops. Because the cops will be offline trying to protect their family. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Martial law. Okay, that's how that works. Okay, they're going to stop you from crossing the city border, the state line. They're going to tell you to turn around and go back. In order to participate in the cashless society, you're going to need a radio frequency identification micro silicon sub processor that is subcutaneously implanted underneath the skin. Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be doubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. On TikTok, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is letting the know that Laurel know that he is afraid. He's scared. He's afraid of civil war. These Edomite devils always talk war, talk big, but they have a very small stick. If you understand my meaning. Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So, when there is no more food in the store, can't buy it or sell using paper money, you can't buy, sell, or trade because you don't have anything that's worth anything. What are you going to do? My job is to persuade you to repent, to do what you can, to keep the commandments of the Most High in heaven. Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shalom. But you won't listen. You drive by way in your head. Nope, let's go back. It was uh, 
June. Jude chapter 1, verse 14. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints. To execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed. What are these ungodly deeds? Rape, murder, pedophilia, adultery, fornication, spiritual and physical, anything sacrificed unto idols, drinking of blood, And of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. You just had an ungodly sinner roll down the street behind me saying, God is not real. Okay? I told you where I was at. A town full of witches, warlocks, unbelievers, unrighteous. Right? Jeremiah. Chapter 3, verse 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord. And I will not cause my anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, saith the Lord. And I will not keep anger forever. Two-thirds of our people are going to be cut off and die because they refuse to keep the law, statutes, and commandments given unto them by the Most High God in heaven through his servant, the prophet. Rising up early and sending them. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, return Thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. Okay? The only people that are going to get out of here are Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Fuck everybody else. Everybody cannot be saved. Jesus Christ is a false God. The true name of the Son of God, his name is Yahweh Shai. He is a Hebrew. He is not a Christian. And then when you try to tell them, they don't want to hear it. They just take off. No bullshit. They take off, man. <laughs> Nothing I can do, boy. Drop it. It don't do no good. Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 13. Only acknowledge thy iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God. The creator of the heaven, the earth, the sea, all that is therein, and the foundation of water. Only acknowledge thy iniquity, 
What is iniquity? Sin added unto sin, added unto sin, unrepented of. What is sin? He that sinneth transgresseth also the law, for sin is transgression of the law. Okay? Only acknowledge thy iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, Yahweh, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. Right? Under every place, the name of the Lord is thy feet amongst his people. Are you scattered to? are the people of the nations in which we were scattered to. You have Israelites in every nation on earth. You have Israelites that look like the nation. Like it says in Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 7. I think it is. Hold on, let me see. Let's get it. Jeremiah. Right? Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 7. I have forsaken mine house. I have left mine heritage. I have given my dearly beloved of my soul into the hand of her enemy. So the most God, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh scattered his people to the four corners of the earth because of their incredulity, unbelief, unrighteous behavior, and worshiping the false gods of the nation. As our punishment, we were scattered to the transatlantic slave trade, the Egyptian slave trade, the Assyrian slave trade, the Babylonian slave trade, the Persian, the Greek captivity, the Roman captivity, and at last, the American captivity. Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 8. My inheritance is unto me as, as a lion in the forest. It crieth out against me, Therefore have I hated it. Right? Just made mention of an unbelieving soul that drove past you and said that the Most High Yahweh does not exist. His name means he is. In order to believe the Most High, you must first believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Okay? So we're out here risking our lives and freedom to persuade a few to diligently seek for themselves through his word, salvation. Upon finding out the true name of the Most High and his Son. Like it says in Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. What is his name? And what is his son say if thou canst tell? It is not Jehovah. The letter J came out 600 years ago. So what was his name before that? See? And through unbelief, our people are destroyed. Right? Let's get it. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22 for my people in foolish they have not known me they are sottish children sottish means stupid they have none understanding they are wise to do evil but to do good they have no knowledge. 
That's the reason why two-thirds of my people of Israelites are going to be left here in mountains. Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 9. My inheritance is unto me as a, is as a speckled bird. The birds round about are come against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field to the devour. In the biblical context, a beast is an animalistic, unrighteous, devilish type man. Applied to a man who by oppose, opposing the cause of the Most High God in heaven, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. So you have a confederacy of nations that are like wild brute beasts. They're brute beasts because they do not have the knowledge and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. And those that do have that knowledge, they ignore it. They spurn it. They throw it away. They turn their back upon it. For filthy lucre's sake. What is lucre? Money. Paper. The heritage of the Most High is as a speckled bird, meaning that the Israelites, being scattered into all nations for as long as they have been, look like the nations. But on their father's side, their bloodlines go back to Israelite of the 12 tribes. You have Judah that are Negroes. You have Benjamin that are the West Indians. You have Levi that are the Haitians. You have Simeon that are the Dominicans. You have Zebulon that are the Guatemalans and the Panamanians. You have Ephraim that are the Puerto Ricans. You have Manasseh that are the Cubans. You have God, they are the North American Indians. You have Reuben, Reuben are the Seminole Indians. Naphtali are its Argentina, Chile, and El Salvadorian. Your Asher are the Colombians, your Uruguayan and Venezuelans, and Issachar are the Mexicans. These are the 12 tribes of Israel, the true children of the Most High. The people that are over there in our land pretending to call themselves Jews and are not, they are of the synagogue of Satan. They are the only people on earth that attend synagogues. Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 10. Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. The vineyard of the Israelites that have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth in the transatlantic and sub-Saharan slave trade that look like the nation. Okay? These pastors are false prophets and preachers that deliberately hide that fact of their Israelites they hide that fact from the Israelite people on purpose. 
for filthy lucre's sake. Because they took the bag to become 501c3 tax exempt. The Most High God in heaven, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh is going to make sure that they are left here and melted unless they repent. They have trodden my portion underfoot. They have made my blessed portion a desert wilderness. The blessed portion of the Most High are his elect, his chosen people. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. I will have mercy upon Jacob and will yet choose Israel. The people that are over there now are imposters. They have been imposters for 80 years. They control the mainstream media, all of your news outlets. Through that and propaganda, they control the narrative, saying that they are the people of the Lord, which is a lie. two-thirds of our people are going to be left here and melted because of their unbelief in the Holy Scriptures of the truth of the Holy Bible. you have these illegal immigrants coming in from other nations fresh out of prison coming to America in order to destroy it from within to have Americans fight against Americans right I don't give a damn all I'm trying to do is save one third of our people wake them up Give them the opportunity to repent and persuade them to salvation. Other than that, the only people that can be saved are Israelites. The Son of God laid down his life for his people, who are Israelites, to so whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law and the services of the Most High and the promises. The only people that think that the scriptures are Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. White man didn't exist. If he did, he was in Mount Seir, in the Petra Mountain. Okay? That's where he was at. He didn't come down out of there. The first place he took over was the land of Judea. And the land of, 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 of Japheth. The brother of Shem. The brother of Ham. That's how these so-called Tatars, Ashkenazi, these Caucasians, a.k.a. Edomites, changed their name. The white man is afraid that we're becoming aware of who they are. 
So it goes back to Cain all over again. When people know what I've done and who I am, they're going to rise up and kill me. Roughly paraphrased. That was Cain's complaint to the Most High God when he becomes a vagabond and a thief and a robber in the earth, a fugitive from justice. That's who these Edomites are. That's the reason why they deny their heritage. They call themselves white people. They call themselves Caucasians. They call themselves Scotland, England, Europeans, anything to run from their own heritage who are Edomites. To whom pertaineth the indignation of the Lord. The indignation is righteous anger and hatred. The Most High in heaven hates Esau Edom. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it's written, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. I'll say it again. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? If there are righteousness for Jehovah, Jehovah forbid. So he will have mercy upon whom he will have mercy, and he will have compassion on whom he will have compassion. So it is not he that will or he that burns, but he that showeth mercy. In other words, God will forgive and love whoever he wants to. You can't do anything about it. I can tell you this. The most high yeah, I'm about to give out of God. Hey, Esau, Esau is finished. Why? Because what he's done to his people. His people are desolate. They don't know his name. They don't know his son's name. They don't know who they are. They don't know what their heritage is. Right, even unto this day. They are completely desolate of faith. The land in which they were to inhabit has been destroyed by these Edomite devils. These people are were ran into the Caucasus Mountains by the Muslim Arabic world and the Byzantine Empire. That's how they started calling themselves Caucasian. I'll see it. Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 19. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains. They made way for us in the wilderness. The only people that have, could have done this to us is Esau Edom. They hung us from trees for fun for sport. They can see how many people they can hang in one day. It's, it's written in history. It's amazing. I'm astonished. Wow. And people don't know about this? What the hell? When I found out, I had to tell somebody. Right? Lamentations chapter 4, 
verse 20. The breath of our nostrils, the anointing of the Lord, was taken in their pits. Right? So in the land of our captivity, we were murdered, hung, burned, mutilated. Right? Sold back and forth as commodities. Of whom we said, under his shadow, we shall live among the heathen. So two-thirds of our people are willing participants of these atrocities. Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup, which is the cup of the Lord's indignation, also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. Right? By Esau, either making themselves naked, they revealed all of the secret information on the internet. You can Google it right now and find out whatever you need. That's how they made themselves naked. Let's go back to Jeremiah, chapter 49. No, sorry, I should take it back. Psalm. It was Psalm. and casting my words behind thee. That's where the Edomites have told the peoples of the world and the Israelites of the Holy Bible that the law has done away with. You can do what you want to do. You can do it till you're satisfied. You can just do it. No matter what it is. And as long as you're happy doing it, they okay it. Drugs. Pussy popping. They got pussy pop videos and gangbang videos. That's up on the internet. But a man preaching on the street corner, they'll take the video down. That's upside down as hell, ain't it? That's ridiculous. But that's what these Edomites do. They are adverse to all righteousness. They are upside down as shit. They are completely backwards. They always have been. Right? Psalm chapter 50, verse 19. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Right? The only people that fit as Esau Edom, the father of the Edomites, the Caucasians, the so-called white men. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 10. But I have made Esau bear. Uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. How can he hide himself when he's made himself naked? Putting all the information on the internet. You can Google it now and find out whatever you need to in order to uncover this pastor. Okay? That's the reason why we try to persuade you to study to show thyself approved unto the Most High God. A workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 
while we try to persuade you to seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Find out for yourself. That way, you would be fully persuaded in your own mind. And make thyself ready and need for repentance. Repentance, like you. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 10. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his feet of places. to partake or take place. Right? Like it says in uh, Isaiah chapter 19 verse 2 and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother. So Esau Edom is scared to death, putting out TikTok videos on YouTube about civil war. Scared that he's gonna have to kill his own people. What these devils don't get is that they made us kill each other for, for, for decades. time an Israelite wake up to the truth, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has got a problem with that. So the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is doing this. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 14. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt, spiritual Sodom in Egypt is America. You got spiritual Sodom with the uh, alphabet community. LBGTQ, XYZ, ABCDEFG, HYJK, all that other shit, right? And then you got uh, spiritual Egypt where everybody has to go to work. As soon as your child come out of the womb, he's put in preschool. Straight prison. He got to do 12 or 15, 18 years of prison. As soon as he come out of his mama's womb, they call it school. The education system. The education system miseducates the Israelites, hiding the truth that they are the Israelites from the Holy Bible. where they practice witchcraft, selling pharmaceutical drugs to one another for profit. Right? Isaiah 14, Isaiah 19, at 14, the Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to Right? What does that mean? In America, you are caused to do everything wrong. Everything is upside down. The law, statutes, and commandments are not adhered to, especially by the Israelites of the Holy Bible who are Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They are not those imposters that call themselves Jews and are not but do lie. That currently inhabit our homeland, who have completely defiled the place, worshiping false gods and wicked narratives, 
saying it's okay for oral circumcision. You can orally circumcise a little boy with your mouth. That's nasty. These are not the people of the Lord. If you went over there and you bent this just the right for you, aka Jesus Christ, they'll punch you in the mouth. They'll put your ass in jail. And yet you call them the people of the Lord? Some people hang your ass from a tree for fun. What do you think they got? among men? Right? Will this not bring invasion of private property? Invading one another? Right? So, the men of Babylon the Great are afraid. They have become as women. When the national draft is instituted and initiated by Jim Crow Joe Biden. They're not going to be able to fulfill their ranks. So they told a lie to the other nations, the people. You can go to America for free. They'll give you a free house, car, a job, money, a phone, they'll let you have it. So you have six million people over the last year that have come illegally into the United States. 
Me personally, I don't give a shit. All it's doing is bringing Babylon the Great to its knees and bringing us, the true Israelites of the Holy Bible, closer to their eternal salvation. about that one see they be tripping about that man see that see that that statue right there uh 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 sister ray borgia yeah they be tripping about that man they trip they flip the fuck out you know they can't they can't oh my god i just got through worshiping him he's the devil i mean when you tell the people they don't get it man and then they look at you like they want to goddamn kill you or something <laughs> All I did was tell the truth. Right? I forgot my place. Where was I at? Isaiah chapter 19, verse 20. I'll just skip over 18. Whatever. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts. Now, I will Shai, in the land of Egypt, for well, they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressor. Right? So during Jacob's trouble, the great tribulation that will come down on Egypt, Babylon the Great, upon the Lord's people, the Israelites that are here in the land of their captivity that think upon the name of the Lord, a cry shall be made out unto the Lord because of what these devils are doing to us. Listen to this. And he, being the most high Yahweh, my Shem Yahweh Shai, shall send them a savior, and a great one. And he shall deliver them. Who is this savior? Is that your savior? Sister Ray Borgia, punk bitch superstar? That look like one of the three musketeers with horns coming out his head? Is that your savior? I'm telling you right now, he's not coming. Okay? He's not coming. The son of the Most High, his name is Yahweh Hamashiach. He is a Hebrew from the tribe of Judah. Judah consists of Negroes. The other Israelites are of the other uh, are, are, are Latinos and Native Americans. They were split into two separate nations after the death of King Solomon. Okay? A lot of people don't get that part. We've been at war with each other and we've been at war with the nations ever since because we would not keep his law, statutes, and commandments. That's the reason why we're at the bottom. We got to come to these goddamn Edomite devils and want them all things, right? We have to worship that false god, Sister Ray Boys, a punk bitch superstar. Look like one of the three musketeers, right? Long hair of a woman. Long hair, is, uh, doesn't nature itself teach you that it is a shame for a man to have long hair? Long hair is a covering for the woman to enhance her beauty. It is a shame for a man to have long hair. A man was not made to be beautiful until the kingdom of heaven on earth when our bodies are changed from corruptible to incorruption and mortal to immortality. Thus, with their saying written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to Yahweh HaMashiach, and the Lord of hosts, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shad, that sent his son, roughly paraphrased the whole thing, okay, to shed his blood for the elect, 
the hidden ones here in these last days. If it wasn't for the great and abundant mercy of the Most High, we uh, these bastards would have swallowed us up quick. Like it says in, a, let me see, I think that's in Psalm. I think that's in Psalm. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can find it. Uh oh. Ah, I see. Every time, man. It never fails, does it? You see what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, well, that's all good. I was just gonna find it. I'll just try to see if I can find it here now. Let's see. Psalms. Damn, I can't, I can't remember which, uh, which one. I was trying to find it on the phone, but I couldn't. I, the phone is shut off on me. <laughs> every time I try to bring some edification out, boy, every time. Right? Okay. Let's go to... I got that. Psalms 64 and 5. I'm gonna try to find it. It's not the I, I can't I can't remember the, uh, the one where it says swallowed us up quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna read it again. I'm gonna try to memorize it. That way I know exactly where it's at. Okay. I'm gonna try, man. Psalm 64. <coughs> verse 5. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They compute of laying snares privately. They say, who shall see them? Right? So all these Edomite devils do at the World Economic Forum, at the World Health Organization, they had a, 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 a warlock, a witch, right? Bless their enterprise and spit on their face. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Man, hey. If somebody did that to me, I'd just stand, I'd have to stand up and punch him in the face, but you know what I mean? I mean, I speak as a man, but you know, when you go to Washington, see, this is what this is how you know Esau Edom is adverse to our righteousness. Instead of having a preacher from a church or the Pope or any of these other false uh, ideological leaders uh, under false religion and false pretense come and bless their enterprise, they had a goddamn witch doctor do it. Okay, come on, man. These people hate the Lord, man. Oh, popped in my head. Got to get it. Proverbs. Right? Right? Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. And that's what these devils have done. They've wronged their own souls, right? But they're, they're, they were designed to be the wicked, man. They were designed to be wicked. They don't know what righteousness is. Like it says in uh, Isaiah 26 and 10, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness? In the land of uprightness, will he deal unjustly and not behold the majesty of the Lord? He ain't gonna do it. They don't, they don't know 
how to do that, right? They think that they are God. So the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is coming back to destroy them. So when we lift up our voice because of what the oppressors are going to do to us during Jacob's trouble, he's going to send us a, fa a savior and a strong one, a mighty one. And he, being Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, will deliver us at that time. Like I, like I keep referring to Joel chapter three, uh, 2, verse 36. I'll just keep it. Right? Joel chapter 2, verse 32, Salakia. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Right? So the most high Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah I already got this all planned out, man. These Edomites are finished. Okay? They know that they're finished. They're running out of time. They're trying to bless their enterprise with witches and warlocks and put uh, spiritual incantations on their enterprise on the world stage. How the fuck are these people supposed to be world leaders? They don't believe in the Most High. They don't believe in Yahweh. They don't believe that he is. Okay? They think that they're him because they hold sway and power over people's lives. Remember, the Georgia Guidestone says that they only need 500 million people. There are 7.5 billion people on Earth. That means six and a half to seven billion people have to be killed. Right? Like Yahweh Shai said in the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 49, I have come to send fire upon the earth. What will I if it be already kindled? So when the oppressors come against us and we cry out to him, calling upon his name, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, right? Yahweh, his father, is going to allow him to unleash his great and awful wrath upon the oppressors, our enemies, to destroy them forever from their mantelpiece in the heaven. White privilege and white supremacy. That shit's about to be exterminated, man. Ain't nothing they can do. They're done. Hey, man. Hey, you know you're Israelite from the Holy Bible, right? Okay, well, what are you doing uh, in order to try to get, uh, to, you know, try to turn your life around? I see you still, huh? Okay, well, you got to read your Bible every day to get to know what the Lord wants for your life, man. You see what I mean? Like I said before, in Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 31 to 33, right? Same thing, right? They hear thy words, but they will not do them. They love wickedness, going off and doing everything just like the white man say for them to do. They... Something in them is telling these people to do this wickedness. And I believe that the Most High God, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, in his and his abundant wisdom and great and great and infinite mercy, everyone is in their lot. As it was in the reincarnation before, they're back to fulfill their lot. Okay? All these migrants, they're coming to Babylon the Great to be judged or to be saved. It's that simple. So those of us that know the name of the Lord and are doing everything they can to practice righteous acts, I mean, there's really no need for us to be afraid, right? Joel chapter three, uh, chapter two, verse three, 30, uh, chapter two, verse 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Right? Let's go over here to, uh, what's it, uh, Isaiah 41. Wow, we're right to it. Isaiah chapter 41. Right? Isaiah 41, verse 8. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen. Right? Remember, Jacob wrestled an angel, and his name was called Israel. 
which in the Greek means he who wrestles with God. But in the Hebrew language, it's Yasharala, prince of the power, prince of God. Okay? But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Right? Right? So the Most High Yahweh, by Shimei Amishai, will keep the oath that it's sworn to Abraham, his friend. Our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? The progenitors of the Hebrew Israelites. Right? Thou, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. So the Most High Yahweh by Shimei Abishai will always love Israel. Okay? And Israel consists of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, also of those of the diaspora, of the scattering, that look like the nations, whose bloodlines, like it says in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 18, goes back by the seed of their fathers. Right? Women carry the seed. Uh, no. Women don't carry seed. They bring seed to conception. To conceive means to make pregnant. So the seed that the man carries in his testes shoots into the woman, and the woman is made pregnant. She is, she is, okay. And she brings forth that man's seed by surrounding it with flesh. The Lord puts a soul in it, and it comes out as a living soul of the woman's womb. Okay? These Edomite devils have took even that, a righteous act that was created by the Most High, Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, and perverted it. These motherfuckers, man, the Most High, Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, is going to exterminate by deletion all these Edomite devils, man. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yep, I will help thee. Yep, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Who sits on the right hand of the Father? Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, whom the world ignorantly calls Jebus Cross. Right? They ignorantly call the Son of the Most High by this, this uh, leprous devil right here. Don't, don't make no sense. Right? Verse 11. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. So the Most High Yahweh by Shimei Abishai knows that these devils are doing everything in their power to strive against us, to destroy us from off the face of the earth. Right? Got us turned against each other with the uh, the Willie Lynch doctrine, turning the light-skinned Negro versus the dark-skinned Negro, the light-skinned Hispanic versus the, the dark-skinned Hispanic. Right? Just turn us against each other, kill us, making us kill each other. The most high Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh is going to make these bastards pay for that. But anyway, I've been on the video too long. Isaiah chapter 41. Verse 13, for I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Okay, so during the time of Jacob's trouble, don't panic. Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, is coming. The Savior, a mighty one that the Most High will save amongst us to save his people, the elect of the house of Israel. Remember, those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Yah, ha, wa, ha. Okay? Yah, ha, wa, sha, I. Yahweh Shai. Those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. All praises to Yahweh, 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 Yahwe
Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for preaching 100% truth to rule well. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom. I hope that brought some edification to y'all. It's the best I could do.